Hello everyone, my name is Chloe Boydston and today I will be doing my Theater of Holocaust final and today I picked Bent by Martin Sherman um, uh, by Martin Sherman, 1979. Um, the plot is set in Berlin, Ger Germany, 1934 and it follows the story of two gay men, Max and Ruby. In the first act, Max is an absolute terrible partner to Rudy. At the very beginning, Max has an- Ugh. Rude- Yes, Max has another man in the house. Not only that, but he lied to the other man, Wolf, that they would go to a country house and have all this together when in reality, he was dead broke. Absolutely dead broke. And then a man starts knocking at the door, and he's like, oh, this is my- See, this is a landlord, this is that, and it's a guard. He comes in, immediately kills Wolf because he resisted arrest, and then after that, Max and Rudy were on the run. Um, all right, Max. Ugh. Max was given an opportunity by his uncle for him to get one ticket out to Amsterdam. But even then, Max wouldn't take that ticket because it was his responsibility, not that he loved Max, but just that, it, not that he loved Rudy, but it was his responsibility. When the whole time his uncle was like, do you love this man? Do you like all of that? But he was still trying to deny it. Just this is my responsibility. I'm not leaving without him. Who would set their life on the line for someone they didn't love is ugh, all I got to say. Um... So eventually Max and Rudy end up in the woods, they're on the run, and we cut to them fighting and all this, and suddenly they get caught and are put, put under arrest. Then they're put in a train car where Max is forced to beat Rudy to death. After that, ugh, after that we're left with just Max and another man named Horse. Horse has a pink triangle on his outfit, on his, sorry, on his prisoner outfit I don't I don't know the exact term for that and that means he's a homosexual um Max is given a David star which is that he's Jewish and from the very beginning horse is like you're not like you're a fluff that's the word he uses which means you're a homosexual man and he keeps on like grilling him about this like how do you have this I know you're not this blah 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 and eventually Max reveals that the guards that he made a deal with the guards and was forced to have intercourse with a dead woman's body to prove that he wasn't gay. Um, and that was that's the end of Act One. We go on to Act Two, and Act Two takes fully takes place fully outside outside of the camps, with Max and Horse doing a mundane task of moving one boulder to one side of the camp and back to the other, back and forth, and they're doing this to wear them out to make them completely tired it's absolute it's just not work that needs to get done and during this time they're forming a relationship and they have intercourse without touching each other and it's just to show like this growth in max that he genuinely loves this man he loves him and then uh, as they're building this relationship horse gets sick and max finds a way to get him medicines trying to get him better but then a guard comes up and tells Max to stay right there, goes to horse, tells him to take off your jacket, take off your coat, and throw your hat to the electrical fence. And at first he throws it on the ground, he's like, no, on the electrical fence. And then he throws it and he goes to touch it, but instead of touching it, he goes and tries to fight back the guard and is immediately killed. After that, the guard tells Max to deal with it, deal with the body, whatever, and he leaves. And Max has this whole monologue and he's just having his whole feelings out and eventually switches his jacket for Horse's jacket because that's him fully accepting himself as a pink triangle, as a homosexual man. And after that, he goes and touches the fence, fence and ends his life. Yeah, that's a little deep, ain't it? Um, Bent gives a perspective on the Holocaust that I don't see talked as much. We know very well the horrors that Jewish people had to go through the camps, and we need to talk about that, obviously, but the perspective of homosexual people and what happened to them in the camps, they were treated terribly even by others within the camp. 
no one wanted to be around a homosexual, no, like, there was even stereotypes within the camps. So I feel like this is such an important play to learn about, especially Holocaust theater, because not only does it give the perspective of, well, it doesn't really give the perspective of Jewish people, but it gives a perspective that isn't talked about much. And it's very important that there wasn't a happy ending. All there was was fully accepting your situation and who you are. He knew he didn't want to live a life without Horace, but he wanted to live his true life. And his true life as a gay man in the camps just wasn't, in the world, just wasn't going to happen. And he felt like the only way he could truly be himself was ending his life. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the triangles so you can fully see what I am talking about. So if you were a person of homo if you were a homosexual person, you would have a triangle like this. And then David's star, which is just two triangles and it's yellow. So um I don't know how to add visual aid within a video, so that's really it. Um thank you. It's been a wonderful year.